of Biotechnica. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So if you are someone who is literally thinking I belong to food science category or biotechnology and are looking for a project or a research internship positions in CFTRI located at Mysore, then this video is definitely going to help you. I'll be talking about how you can get an internship opportunity at CFTRI at Mysore. So come along with me and let's discuss the complete topic in detail. So first let's discuss about what is the CFTRI. This is um, industry under a CSAR laboratory. So I'll be talking about how you can fetch an internship opportunity at CFTRI at Mysore. This is very easy to get to be honestly telling. So I'll be talking about how you can fetch this internship opportunity. We know CFTRI is Central Food Technological Research Institute. And if you're going to go to the website, you can literally see a page like this. So in this, you will definitely go to this recruitment and you can see the internship opportunity. So I'll talk about that also in detail. It was established in 21st October 1950 and the headquarters is at Mysore, uh, Karnataka and the website is this website. So if you go to the website, you literally see a page like this and it is under CSIR control. So how to get an internship at CFTRI. It may basically talks about the food science research at CFTRI, but there are many more research. If you're someone who's interested in food uh, research, then definitely you can take up the internship, which is very, very good enough. And now let's talk about what are the internships or the categories of internship that are available at CFTRI. First, let me talk about the website. So as I already shown you the website, if you go to the website, if you click on to the recruitment, you will be seeing project assistant DEO or RI, which is research interns. And you will see the list of advertisements which will be going in the CFTRI. So according to the uh, advertisement, you can click on to that and you can check for the notification which keeps coming. So this is about the website. And the first criteria is they are going to fund you for the internship opportunity. Suppose if you become a research intern at CFTRI, they are going to give you a, a salary or a stipend for every month. The second criteria is going to be summer or short term internship. This is for undergraduate students can also take up postgraduate students can also take up but this is a paid one you have to pay the fees and then you have to take up the summer or short term internship. I'll be talking about this also in detail. The next one, what are the job profile? As I already told you, it's about a research intern position. So do not get confused. Only research intern names will be given. Sometimes they can mention it as project associate one also, which means research intern only. So you can see it here only for this organization, you will see project assistant one related to research intern also. The duration is for six months. As I already mentioned, if you're belonging to any of these category, you can apply for this first class in MSc in chemistry or food science or food technology or biochemistry or biotechnology. Or if you're belonging to engineering background like production and engineering or mechanical with good academic records, then you can definitely apply for this project associate. This will be like a notification which keeps coming according to the notification you can start applying for this one usually uh, the emoluments or the stipend will be for rupees 24,000 to 31,000 for one month and the age criteria is going to be 25 years so this is the most um, known research internship position or project associate position at CFTRI at Mysore now the next thing is how is the screening process going to be the main screening process is going to be based on your academic performance and you'll be called for the interview how well you perform in the interview along based on your technical knowledge also. So based on these three criteria, research interns or project associates, one are uh, recruited by CFTRI in Mysore. Now let's talk about all the internship, how you can get an internship in CFTRI. I'll be talking about what are the ways that you can apply to also. The first is stipend or funded internship. If you want a salary kind of thing, then you can apply for this one. So you can see stipend or funded internship this is called as research intern or project associate this is variable project associate one project associate two it will be variable and the duration of this internship is six to eight months like suppose let's take in CFTRI, there are different laboratories. So each of the laboratory will call for a research intern position or project associate one position. That time you have to apply for this and each of the laboratory will um, 
put em- uh, an average range of stipend from 15000 to 25000 which is variable according to the laboratory so i have written 15000 to 25000 it might be variable also and you have to apply for this stipend of funded internship only when the notification comes from specific laboratories so you have to go to the recruitment site and look for the internship available and people who are belonging to any of these category can apply for this stipend of funded internship this will be available only only when the notification comes but there is another internship which will which you can apply all round the year that is what is going to be the next internship for all of you so the next internship is going to be summer or short term internship so first let's talk about summer or short term internship what is this internship so if you want to know about this one you can literally go for this site this is all round available so you can apply any time online application throughout the year but it's a paid one you have to pay the fees and you can take up this internship which is almost for 2 months so this is available for undergraduate students also postgraduate students also and you have to pay a fees of rupees 10000 and the duration is going to be 2 months who can apply for this paid ones 70 percentage marks if you are having if you are from general category then you need to have a 70 percentage of marks in the current semester and 60 percentage of marks in the current semester for sc or st if you're having this mark then you can definitely contact them i'll be telling what are the documents you'll be submitting also some of the documents you need to have it when you're applying for this internship summer or short term internship undergraduate or postgraduate you need to know recommendation letter from the hod or any of them bona fide certification from the hod that you wanted to go for an internship and of course an application form i'll show you this uh, image also and all the mark sheets all the semester mark sheets and some id proofs like any of these thing and one passport size photograph you need to have these are the documents and for summer or short term internship since it is going to be for almost two months they are not going to provide an accommodation at cftri at mysore you have to take care of this accommodation so this is the page you're actually seeing if you go to this website exactly you will see this page and here you can see all the information given here and there is a place where online application for internship if you're going to click on to this it will be redirecting you to the application portal where you can start submitting this is available all around the year but the thing is suppose if you want to go in for may month internship before one month you should apply for this internship then only they will take you for the shortlisting students based on the interview they'll be called and you have to pay the fees at that moment or if you have any doubt you can contact uh, them through the email address which is pmc at cftra.res.in so this summer internship or short term internships are available all around the year for undergraduate as well as for postgraduate stipend of funded internship is mainly when there is a notification comes whenever notification comes from different laboratories then you can start applying for this now the question for us how we can apply for this one so there are three ways the first way is suppose if you like somebody in CFTRA, some of the project that you are very liking about it. Suppose you can see it over here. Uh, let me show you this one. You can literally see the website. So in the website, you can literally go for the research area. And under the research area, whichever uh, scientist you are more comfortable, you can mail them regarding that you are interested in the research project and you would like to take up the internship to the scientist or to the person who is working in the project and if the scientist agrees with you then you can start off your internship whether with a stipend or you are going to directly go over there and work over there the second important st- thing is as i already mentioned stipend or funded internship that you will be applying only when the notification comes the last important criteria as i already told you is summer or short term internship where you pay and you get this internship opportunity and the last one is walk in interviews this walk-in interviews will also be announced where you don't have to apply online but you directly go to the laboratory and you attend the interview if selected you will be taken as a internship so to be very specific we can say there are three ways where you can actually apply for this one the first way is going to be emailing to the respective person and the second way is notification comes you apply online and when you are selected you attend the interview the third is directly going to the a center or the laboratory and applying for this one or attending the interview the last is a paid one where you apply it and you pay the fees and you start working there as an intern so this is about 
what are the ways that you can apply at CFTRI at Mysuru. So we've been talking about what is this organization CFTRI and then we talked about what are the internship opportunities that are available, how you can apply, what are the job profile and how do they select the students and what are the ways that you can apply uh, to CFTRI at Mysuru. So suppose if you are thinking like you want to take up a project in food science, then definitely you can go for CFTRI Mysuru where opportunities even after an intern you can even take up a project assistant positions or research assistant positions at CFTRI Mysore and even you can continue there as a JRF or SRF and avail a PhD position. So internship is a way where you can take up a long-term goal by entering into the institution also. So this is all about the internship at CFTRI at Mysuru. So I believe that this video is helpful for all of you. So Thank you all of you for joining and I'm going to meet you back again with another video. Thank you all of you.